Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining uh, uh, today. Thalvi and Tripoli webinar on adapting uh, the professional development to the digital age. Uh, let's quickly get started uh, by introducing the speakers for the day. Uh, we have uh, Amy Kalihari, uh, who is a vice president in professional development uh, at Tripoli, and I am Pushottam Reddy, the customer success manager at Thalview. Amy, would you quickly want to introduce yourself? Maybe talk a bit about uh, uh, Tripoli as well. Yeah, so I have been at AAAE over 14 years. I am currently the Vice President of Professional Development, which means I oversee all of our certification programs, as well as help out with our trainings, both virtual and in the classroom. So AAAE is the largest professional organization representing airports and affiliate organizations. We have over 10,000 individual members and over 650 corporate members. So we're a pretty large organization, mostly recognized in the United States, but we also have some international presence through our sister organization, which is International Association of Airport Executives, and we interact with them, and then we also have a branch in Canada. So our organization represents airports on every aspect um, with the federal government on relevant issues to make sure that that we are lobbying for them and getting things done when they have a certain agenda, pushing those issues forward at the Hill in Washington, DC. We offer over 50 conferences a year and over 75 trainings. And those trainings are both virtual and in person. And to correlate with the trainings, we also have certification programs. And we have about 15 of those right now. We're constantly building new programs. And that is where um, our exam platform comes in and we need to take give the assessment to our uh, members to make sure that they are able to complete the exam and add the credentials to their name after they complete the certification. Got it. Awesome, Amy, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's quickly move on. Let me quickly talk about a little bit about Talview. So Talview has been in the assessment and skill measurement space for close to a decade now. Uh, you know, working across all the geographies and sectors. Uh, with deployments in over 122 countries, Talvio has helped over 250,000 uh, recruiters and exam administrators, right? So, I mean, uh, if at all, you see, we have also had over 10 million candidates who have been assisted and proctored through Talvio. And uh, we've also had some recognitions. Uh, so, recently, G2 has uh, recognized Talvio as the leaders in the proctoring space. Uh, here, you can look at some of our uh, logos, uh, ranging from, you know, tech companies to the retail, uh, you know, like Best Buy, all of all of the logos, you can probably find it here. So that's a little bit about Talview. So quickly, let's get going. So the next one is the trends in digital learning. So as we all know, the landscape of education and professional development has been significantly transformed by the digital learning. So quickly wanted to talk about, uh, you know, some of the key trends uh, in digital learning. The first one here you could say is the high recommendation rates. You know, substantial 95% of the online, you know, learners stated that they would recommend online courses to others. So basically, this indicates the strong positive perception of online learning's effectiveness and the value it has generated over the last few years, right? So this is this is the first one. And then moving on to the next one is it's more about the ease of completions. If you look at it, about 36% of respondents believe that completing an online course is much easier than learning in a traditional classroom setting. I believe everyone will agree with that. So this could be because of the various factors, such as the ability to learn at their own you know, pace, maybe the convenience of accessing materials from anywhere. And also, you know, potentially, I, I strongly believe it would be a less pressure in an on online environment compared to a traditional classroom setting. Uh, and the next one is the time efficiency here. E-learning is reported to require 40 to 60% of less time to learn compared to the traditional classroom settings. So this is again, uh, you know, I feel significantly, uh, uh, you know, the reduction in learning time can be attributed to the elimination of commute uh, times, which is a bigger challenge in today's world. And the next one is a flexibility, uh, you know, a notably 63% a of the learners choose to study online because of the flexibility, uh, you know, virtual learning offers. Uh, this could be because of ability to access course materials at any time and you know from any location right so so that's the flexibility you know online training offers so so just just talking about it so these are like few of the you know latest trends in the digital learning what we have observed so let's quickly move on to the next one talking a little bit about you know why move to a digital learning right so the shift towards 
uh, digital learning is, is driven by numerous benefits that address the limitations and challenges of traditional education models. You know, here I've listed out a few reasons why to move towards digital learning. The first one is outdated traditional training. I know I think we all agree to it. The traditional ways of training and development are often seen as outdated, you know, slow and inefficient and really does not cater to the current uh, demands of many professional fields. Uh, the next one is the uh, improved productivity, retention, and operational efficiency. Uh, and if you look at it, a digital learning platform enables more engaging and learning experiences, you know, which can eventually lead to improved knowledge retention and productivity. Additionally, I strongly believe, you know, digital learning can significantly reduce the time and resources required for training, which would eventually lead to a better operational efficiency. And the next one, the important one is measuring ROI. I think one of the significant advantages of digital uh, learning is the ability to track and analyze the effectiveness, effectiveness for each training programs. You know, uh, you know, with the help of uh, analytics and data, it will help the organizations to measure the ROI and definitely make better decisions. And of course, the last one is uh, the blockchain-based credentials. I know this is an emerging trend, the adoption of blockchain technology for issuing and verifying credentials is it's been the new and the emerging trend. As we all are aware, it offers like a secure and transparent method of managing uh, certifications. Uh, I also believe, you know, it also helps in streamlining the certification process and of course reduction, you know, of many kind of frauds and all of that. So these are like some of the reasons highlighting the need uh, to move towards digital, digital learning, right? So these are some of the things we wanted to talk about today. So quickly moving on towards uh, you know, AAAE's uh, journey of, you know, a digital transformation. Uh, you know, just wanted to talk about how, why did AAAE move, you know, move towards digital and, you know, what are the benefits and what are the reasons? Maybe I think I'll allow Amy to speak a little bit about the complete transformation journey uh, here, Amy, over to you. Thank you. So as everyone knows, in 2020, we had a pandemic. <laughs> and of course, that caused a lot of us to have to rethink our business strategies and our processes and pivot to a new way of doing things. Um, so we were not unlike the others, and especially in the world of airports, when nobody's traveling, nobody can go anywhere, um, our business became severely reduced because we have in-person conferences, in-person trainings, and all of that. We really didn't do much virtually at all. So our first um, problem to solve was, how are we gonna allow people to take exams when normally they have a live proctor in the room with them. So how are we going to solve this issue? Because we want to make sure that people can still get certified, especially when they have downtime now, because the airports are shut down. So they found time um, to actually pursue these certifications. So we want to make sure that we can offer as much um, help as possible in doing that. So we did research quite a few companies, maybe over 10 and Talview was one of those companies. And we walked through the different options and how it would work for us and felt that Talview was going to be a really easy transition for us. The implementation time was not very long, and this needed to be a quick process to get it up and running. And it was cost effective for us. So those two were big factors in our decision. And then we felt like they're very accessible. So Talview staff is always there if you need support with your exams. And that's very key for us because we are not working 24 hours a day. So we want to make sure that our candidates have support no matter when they're taking the exam. Um, when we started, we felt like we when we stood everything up, we got everything going. It was pretty smooth. You now you have a few little bumps <laughs> along the way, just learning and um, changing to a new way of doing things. But they definitely helped address our issues really quickly, and it felt like we were working with somebody that was in house. Uh, they would make enhancements upon our suggestions and just quickly help us out with any edits or things that we needed. So, in the current day. Um, we have added back some of our in-person training, but we still have a lot of virtual courses and people taking exams virtually. All of our exams are now online through the Talview plat platform, and that allows just um, access. So all of our um, all of our airport folks still have issues with continued uh, staffing issues. So we're seeing they still have struggle recruiting and retaining staff, and they don't have, they still have budget concerns. 
So it's hard to be able to send people somewhere or have a proctor brought to them through the travel and budget limitations. So this way, by using Telview, they can access the assessments from anywhere on a computer and it's that easy and it eliminates that geographical and schedule issue that we had with the proctoring. Um, they definitely helped us streamline everything as well. We were using Scantrons before, um, so it reduced a lot of our time, our administrative effort, so that's really nice. And again, as I mentioned before, that realm the clock support has been very essential to um, what we've done with our learners and our candidates. Couple of the challenges we've had, as I mentioned before, when you first get started, you know, you have those little bumps along the road. So just adapting, trying to figure out um, how this is gonna work, communicating to our members, we have a new process. You don't need a proctor anymore. You just need a computer and making sure that they're all comfortable with that. And it's still to this day, we still have to remind people of our new process. So just getting everyone learning to adapt without the print version. Some people prefer a print exam for some reason versus an, um, Te technological exam and internet based. They're just not as comfortable with technology. And then again, just changing our business process and making sure that we're keeping up on that and always um, having the best product that we can out there. And then with their exam security, we just wanted to make sure that, you know, we're sending these exam banks back and forth over the, over the internet. And that's not always the most secure way to do things. So it's just, it could be a security risk, but um, so far, luckily, it's been a pretty easy process with us in Talview. We do have the biggest issue, I would say there are two, and one would be the technology aspect, as I mentioned before. Not all of our members are technologically savvy. <laughs> Some of them don't even have a computer. Um, we have people that work out on the airfields and they're like mechanics or badging officers, and they just, don't have the resources to be able to take a technological exam or don't have the know-how. So that's been a little bit of a challenge with some of our audience, but mostly they can curb that with the airport support. So the airports will give them a device or they can use pretty much everybody has a tablet um, or a mobile device. So those, that's the kind of work around there. And then just issues, you know, there are glitches and things like that in the site sometimes. Very minor, but it happens occasionally. But again, um, Talview support has really helped with that, just making sure that everything is resolved quickly. And then the other bigger issue we have too is candidate integrity, just making sure we don't really have people impersonating other people. It's more that we found a few people adding a device with them or they have notes on the side and we can detect that through the record and review process and see that they are actually um, exhibiting violations against our guidelines. So either they have headphones on or you can see them with a book on the side or an additional screen with answers or you hear them typing, which isn't necessary in our exam. So that's kind of an issue that we're working to address right now with Talview, and they are implementing the option of a secondary camera, which will help eliminate that problem because that's that's our biggest problem. And when that happens, we unfortunately have to invalidate their exam, take away their credentials if they passed, and then have them wait to take it again and then pay and take it with a live proctor in that case to make sure that it's secure the next time. So it is a bit of an issue. And it's only happened a handful of times, but that's enough to cause concern. So that's something that we're working on right now. And then the other thing is we've learned that AAA is unique and we've learned this through many different <laughs> um, items such as our database transition as well. So we have different needs and requests than some other customers and just making sure that Talview can give us what we need with certain features. Um, like I mentioned, some people like the printed exam. Um, we may have ABA issues and then we have the classroom trainings. And because we're still doing classroom training, we had to find a good way to offer those exams without a lot of stress and issues. And some of that technology thing with the computers, people have trouble with their cameras or their audio and they're not tech savvy. 
So it stresses them out and they're already stressed because they're taking a high stakes exam and something they need for their job or their career. So we want to make sure it's as easy as possible for them to take their exam, that that's not a worry of theirs, that we can take that away. So Talview was able to help us with the non-proctored version of the exam. And that way they can just go right to the website, get started on the exam and not worry. And then they also set up a sample exam that replicates our environment and that we use during the classroom week to make sure that um, people are comfortable, their equipment works and all of that. So that's how we've kind of overcome those challenges. Got it, Amy. Thank you so much for that. I think, yeah, we are working towards, you know, addressing a couple of things, right? So when you talk about the technology, I believe uh, that transformation was much needed post COVID or the pandemic, like pretty much everyone had to move towards the digital. I think that's where, and I mean, uh, the transformation is on. And then definitely around the uh, candidate integrity, of course, we are like you rightly mentioned, we are also implementing the secondary camera, so which will definitely solve those edge cases, uh, you know, where we, where we found the malpractices among the, the candidates or the participants. Awesome. So let's quickly move on. So let's now talk about the proctoring for certification, the real need of it, you know, different types of proctoring uh, services that is offered by Talview. So moving on so one of the important elements in proctoring for certification is to prevent candidate impersonation like you know uh, uh you know amy was mentioning about it so maybe it's not like a real edge case for triple but this is like a very common use case across most of our customers are in the market today so tell you offers three step verification here basically this process begins with uh, you know, three steps to verify candidate's identity, identity. So the first one is the ID verification, basically verifying the candidate's ID. And the next one is, of course, the face capture. And the last one is a 360 degree environment check where a candidate need to record a complete, uh, uh, you know, a 360 degree video, uh, 360 degree uh, recording of the room uh, to ensure the integrity of the exam and, you know, no malpractices are attempted. Uh, so basically these steps are designed, uh, 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 you know, to prevent impersonation, ensuring that the person taking the exam is indeed a registered candidate. Uh, you know, of course, this also ensures uh, exam fairness by implementing these verification measures. Uh, the system maintains a, you know, level playing field for all candidates, discouraging cheating and impersonation. And of course, the last one is the discouraging cheating, right? So the generally what we have seen is the presence of, uh, you know, such stringent verification, you know, procedures generally act as a deterrent against uh, you know, cheating as candidates are aware that if any attempts to bypass the system are likely to be uh, detected. Uh, so I think that that definitely helps, uh, uh, you know, in preventing cheating. So these are like a few steps that we have taken uh, to prevent, especially the candidate, in candidate impersonation. So now let's quickly move on, uh, on, you know, maintaining uh, when it comes to, you know, maintaining exam integrity. At least with Talview, what what Talview does, the Talview offers three different types of proctoring services that are that can be plugged into any test engine. Uh, the first one was the automated AI proctoring here. So it's it's automated AI proctoring, like the name suggests, it's a completely uh, fully automated AI enabled solution that deters candidates from cheating in online exams by you know kind of detecting any malpractices attempted. The benefits of this, uh, you know, especially the AI proctoring is it doesn't. Uh, uh, you know, have to have any dependency on anyone to monitor the candidates. You know, there are multiple flags that AI would detect and flag to the candidates when they attend any kind of malpractices. So this type of proctoring is, you know, particularly suited for a low to mid-stake exams due to its cost effectiveness and immediate results. Uh, so moving on to the next one, the live proctoring. This is, a, you know, a combination of AI proctoring with a human oversight. So live proctoring involves real-time monitoring by trained proctors you know, who can intervene if necessary, right? So this method offers more like a classroom uh, like experience and it's best for the high stake exams where the stakes and requirements for security and integrity are like really much higher. So this is like any exams, you know, kind of have a really high integrity uh, and, you know, the security measures are really high. This type of proctoring is always enabled for them to maintain uh, the high, highest level of integrity. And of course, the last one here is a record and review. So this is basically AI proctoring with a human review, right? So once the, the flags are generated by the AI, the professional proctors would then review these flags and ensure the accuracy is maintained. So this is like more, I would say, best suited for, you know, mid to high stake of the exams. So this three, these are the three types of proctoring for three, three different types of uh, uh, use cases that, that work seamlessly with, with any kind of a test engines out there that is offered by Talvi today. So 
quickly moving on uh, to the benefits delivered to AAA. I'm sure that, you know, already uh, Amy has spoken about a few of the things and, you know, how Talio has helped uh, uh, AAA in achieving their goals for the last few years in our partnership. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to highlight a couple of things here as well. The first one here is the multiple layers for content and exam integrity protection. So I believe, you know, comprehensive security measures protect the integrity of exam content and the fairness of the examination process, right? So basically what we do is that safeguarding AAA's reputation and the value of its certification. So this was like a very important for us to maintain. The next one is definitely providing a superior exam experience. So Talview provides an end-to-end -end seamless experience for the candidates, especially, you know, uh, by breaking the language barriers by offering exams in multiple languages. You know, the important one is with the accessibility support, right? So that is something which Talvi accommodate as well. And then uh, like uh, Amy mentioned earlier as well, the affordable uh, pricing in the AI proctor assistance. So leveraging AI for proctoring has made a uh, you know, process more cost-effective for AAAE, you know, allowing them to scale the certification programs without compromising on you know, any kind of quality or security I think when AAA started off, they started off with the limited exams and then now, you know, we've been really scaled across uh, for the last couple of years. So that's all because of the way our proctoring services are today, uh, you know, able to sustain and, you know, kind of help the team to grow without compromising anything on the quality or any kind of a security what's been provided. And uh, of course, the next one is a flexibility to integrate with test engines and LMS. So, you know, today Talvi provides the ability to seamlessly integrate uh, with any, any kind of LMS or test engines uh, out there in the market. So similarly, like the way we have done with uh, AAAE for managing the exams as well. And uh, the last one, like, you know, uh, Amy reiterated multiple times is that 24 bar seven support. This is like, you know, round the clock support provided by Talview to ensure any issues or candidates or, you know, administrators face that can be resolved promptly, you know, regardless of any kind of time zone they are in, we're always available 24 bar seven to ensuring that any kind of issues are, you know, taken up and, you know, resolved promptly. So these are few benefits, uh, I, you know, just wanted to highlight what, what Talvi has been uh, able to provide to AAAE over the course of last few years in our partnership. So quickly moving on uh, to the last bit of it is more like the engagement and learning outcomes, you know, what are the exact results and, you know, what, what really uh, we were able to, you know, achieve with this partnership. Amy, do you want to quickly uh, talk about this, um, you know, since since it's like, you know, I really want to hear from you, like what are those outcomes you've seen in the last few years of our partnership, you know, what really has grown and how, how it really helped you uh, in this complete uh, uh, transformation journey? Sure, yeah. So we have experienced a lot of growth, oddly enough. After everything shut down, everything boomed. <laughs> so um, the airport industry is actually busier than ever. And because of some of the relief efforts with the pandemic money given to airports, they are able to put more money towards professional development. We're seeing a big growth in that. And we are continuing to be able to offer, like I said, over 75 trainings because of the virtual aspect that allows us to really stand up things quickly, um, be able to adapt to anywhere, any, anybody's location, anybody's um, challenges and have that offering that way all staff can get trained and not just the high level staff or those that would normally be able to travel. So um, Talview has definitely helped us in that because we're seeing a rise in the certification exams and the importance of certification. All of our airport executives are really harping on leadership development, professional development, and succession planning because we're getting a lot of retirements as well. So that lower level and mid-level staff now is getting trained up more to be able to take the place of those retirees. And so they're um, really putting a lot more people through certification, which means we have a higher volume. And if we were trying to handle that in-house, with, as I mentioned, Scantron exams and um, the time it takes to grade those and things like that, it is a lot of administrative work. So this takes a lot out of our hands um, and onto Talview's hands because they help with that record review effort, making sure everything's secure um, and taking the measures that we need to um, make sure the candidates are happy as well and that they are receiving that support. Got it. Awesome. I think uh, that's pretty much, uh, you know, theme what we want to talk on today's webinar. 
Uh, you know, I, I really appreciate everyone for joining the webinar today. Thank you, Amy, again. Thank you.